All right, what is up, y'all? So, we got ourselves another video. Now, today I wanted to do a uh, unboxing of these shoes right here. I've had them for a couple of weeks now, and just have not gotten around to uh, doing a uh, unboxing and uh, kind of going over over the ins and outs of them. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and just get this video out there in case anybody is looking at buying this pair of shoes. Um, there's a little bit you need to know about these shoes if you are looking at purchasing these off of um, a website. Uh, they still are in stock on certain websites. I've seen them on Tactics, Skate Warehouse, um, different places like that. But uh, these pair right here, as you can tell from the title of this video, these are the DC Shoe Co. Uh, collaboration with Bronze 56K. These are the uh, gray and navy Lucotas. Uh, these I bought in a size 12. The uh, retail was a hundred bucks on them plus shipping. I got them from a uh, Cowtown skate shop in uh, out of Arizona. Got them shipped to me real quick. Um, so we'll just look at the tag real quick. Got the Lakota X Bronze 56K model number ADYS100570. Color navy gray. And these are the size 12 US. Um, I'll go over that in just a minute. But uh, I'll just show off the box a little bit. You got the little bronze hit. The DC hit right there. You got the uh, DC with the little bronze logo instead of the star. And then right here, instead of DC Shuko USA, you got the DC Shuko 56K. I thought that's pretty tight um, the way they did that. And put the little uh, bronze 56K hits all over these. So uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get them unboxed. So the uh, internal wrapping is with uh, with most of DC's collaborations. They do this. They do the DC with the whatever uh, logo for the collaboration they're doing. We're going to go ahead and pull these on out the box real quick. And we'll give them a look over. So with these shoes right here. Um, if I get it out of the box. So with these shoes right here. These are the uh, kind of classic um, chunky reimagined shoes that they do with um they've been redoing a lot of their uh shoes here lately like the uh the Lynx they've done the uh the Legacy Slims they've done the uh Stevie Williams shoes and now they've done this one with uh Bronze 56K so this is the Lucota this was a uh a silhouette a type of shoe that was um somewhat popular when it first came out it came out in early 2000s i believe it looks pretty much exactly the same except for um some of the uh 56k bronze hits that you got on here but essentially it's pretty much the exact same shoe um so we're just gonna go ahead and uh look at it real quick and i'll talk about it a little bit so We'll go ahead and do kind of the top. You know, you're going to want to know what you look down at. Now, these are very um, nostalgic-looking shoes. If you look down from the top, they got the big, fat uh, tongue right there. They've got the uh, kind of technical-looking toe on it. Now, these toes on this model have been reinforced. You see they have the uh, kind of rubberish material. It's triple-stitched through there. You've got the... Uh, classic Lynx OG sole on here. This was the sole that was on the original Lakota as well. I'll go ahead and go in here. See, I don't know if I can pull out the insole. I don't think that insole comes out. So on the right shoe, I don't know how well you can see in there. On the right sole, you've got the DC uh, logo hit in there, if you can see that. And then it's got the bronze logo in there. Don't know how well that's going to come up on the camera. But um, then on the back, on the pull strap, you've got the bronze logo right there. And then on the tongue, you've got the DC Shuko 56K. So I like it. It's not too overdone. This colorway right here, I liked a little bit more than the uh, the brownish, yellowish, green, and purple one. Uh, um, these ones are kind of a little more neutral in... Uh, in my opinion but um so these shoes right here they do have a ton of padding like if you look back here in the heel area they've got that real big thick sole they've got a lot of padding in the tongue a lot of padding right here on the sides now that's good if you're um into those type of thick sole padded shoes but um it does make these shoes run small uh it said on one website, I'm not sure which one it said while I was looking for my size because I could not find an 11 and a half anywhere and I was getting kind of bummed out. 
I wound up um, looking at one website and it said that these do run half a size small. Uh, so luckily I was able to find some 12s. I've seen several other sizes still in stock here recently. But um, so when I put these on, because of all this padding right here, your foot does not slide into the heel like it would in a normal shoe. It slides in and gives you a lot of space in the back. So it kind of pushes your foot forward. And uh, even with these 12s, I still feel like I could have gotten a 12 and a half and they would have fit better. But um, with these big chunky shoes, I mean a 12 and a half in one of these would have looked crazy as all hell. So I'm glad I got the 12s. I don't plan on uh, skating these. I don't really skate too, uh, too thick of shoes. I just wanted these for my collection because they are a dope shoe. I've been a fan of Bronze 56K since they uh, kind of came out and uh, started getting a little more popularity. I like their videos, their edits, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, when I saw these were coming out, I immediately wanted to grab a pair. I missed out on the... Uh, Reebok bronze collaboration so when I saw these I definitely wanted to um grab them and just uh get them in my collection but there's not a whole lot you need to know about this shoe other than that sizing um if you like the chunkier kind of fat tough shoes like these these would definitely be a good one to have to skate in if you just like the kind of retro feel of these shoes definitely I recommend them um but you do want to watch out they do run smaller than what you normally would get uh, me i wear an 11 and a half in most shoes but uh i can wear a 12 like i've got a pair of van slip-ons that are size 12 right now that i'm wearing um so it just really kind of depends on the shoe it depends on the uh material it depends on you know it depends on a lot of things um i kind of know for most shoes that i like what size i wear for different things like if i'm skating in a shoe i might go up to a 12 just because um you know i want that extra space so i'm comfortable in them but it just really depends um some shoe sizes are all over the place so uh you know, just be wary of that when you're buying these these do run small so if you're kind of like me you wear say um 11 and a half in some shoes 12 in some shoes you might want to um be careful ordering these if you are wanting to skate them if you're worried that they still might be a little too small on you i would recommend going up a full size rather than just a half a size um with all this padding and stuff that little extra space that you're going to give yourself will be no problem in these shoes um because i mean they're just so chunky they're so big they're gonna hold to your foot regardless but um being that these are a big shoe i wouldn't go crazy and get too big of a pair unless they're just for uh wearing but um yeah i mean this is a nice shoe solid shoe it's got a uh, that real retro feel to it they added these uh extra ventilation holes into it it's got the nice rubber uh lace loops right here like I said, it's real reinforced in the toe. Um, got that real big, thick sole. So I imagine these don't have the best board feel. But, um, I mean, from a visual standpoint, from a nostalgic standpoint, these are a pretty awesome shoe. So uh, I definitely recommend going out and getting them. If you haven't seen any of um, Bronze 56K's video edits, I highly recommend going and looking at those uh, on YouTube or something. They do have some really crazy editing style. And, um... They're just a pretty good, uh, pretty good little crew. They got some really good skaters on there. But um, yeah, and I mean, one other thing that I really liked about this shoe itself, uh, when I went on the DC website to kind of look at them, it did say in there that uh, profits from this shoe, the online sale of this shoe, would be going to. Um, I'm not for sure what foundation it was exactly, but it was um, in the realm of like Black Lives Matter. It was some foundation. I don't think it was actually like black lives matter foundation i think it was an actual um foundation that helps um the uh the black culture as a whole it helps um people that are in that community and everything so i thought that was pretty cool that they were you know giving the times that we're living in right now they were doing something to um contribute to the good in the world so that got me really stoked i definitely um wanted to go ahead and grab these now i don't know if uh ordering them from say a third party retailer or something if you order it from ccs or you order it from another online skate shop i'm not for sure if 
the proceeds from that still go to that foundation but i know on the dc website they did through there so um i thought that was pretty cool i thought that was just something a little different um something a little positive i've always liked dc um so seeing that really kind of made me uh strengthen my um support for them so uh yeah if you uh if you like this video you want to um you got any more questions definitely leave a comment down below i got no problem answering some questions down there i try to check the comments pretty frequently but um yeah i mean honestly my recommendation if you like this style of shoe you like these big fat retro kind of shoes i would say go ahead pull the trigger on it get you a pair and um yeah i think you'll really enjoy them but uh with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get some on feet video of these shoes and that'll be the end of it